Okay, so, um, hey, hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, the other day, I got myself a yo-yo, and it was a yo-yo that I really wanted because I saw that it, it was a new, it's a newer yo-yo, and, uh, it's a $20 yo-yo, and it's actually a budget plastic, and everybody's been raving about it, so I decided to get one. So, the yo-yo that I got was... This is the Yo-Yo Factory Wedge. So, let me give you guys like a bit of a background. So, when a Yo-Yo player wins a contest, they want to, the main goal is to sell their Yo-Yo. And Evan wanted to do that, but you guys would know his signature Yo-Yo, the Wedge. Or, the Edge, I mean. Uh, which is over there. But, um, it's $100, and that's kind of a lot for people to want to like buy the Yo-Yo. So what he did was he made a plastic, which eventually became the wedge, that um, he made so people would want to buy his yo-yos after he won nationals. And he, he won nationals again this year. So yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this yo-yo. So yo-yo factory yo-yos always open them up from the bottom. It's pretty hard. Okay, there we go. All right. So here we are to pull the CO out. Sorry, it's a bit rough. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ah, whoops. Whoops. Ah, okay. Oh well. Alright, so just got to pull this off now. Just got to pull this thing off the bearing. Alright. There we go. The bearing's spinning now. Alright, so basically this is the yo-yo. I got the clear version. Uh, the first thing I noticed about yo-yo is this yo-yo is a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. So actually, let me go get the edge and compare it. Okay. Alright, so this is the wedge and this is the edge side by side. Let me, uh... So, as you can see, uh, the wedge looks a bit wider from my perspective, but, uh, the rims on this yo-yo look really, like, they look really, like, large rims, which is interesting. Yeah, the rims are actually really big on this yo-yo, I don't know if you can tell, but, um, it does have this finger spin hub. Which, they said that they blasted the hub so it's easy to do finger spins. Uh, that doesn't really affect me because I don't really, I don't really do finger spins a whole lot. But, for the people that do finger spins, uh, this yo-yo is supposed to be really good for that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a string on this yo-yo and we're going to see how it plays. So, yeah, basically, this is Evan Nagao's budget model. He kind of wanted to make a yo-yo where uh, it plays very similar to the Edge and uh, all of that, but it's for, like, a more budget price because not everybody has, like, $100 that they're willing to spend. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm really so excited to try out this yo-yo. Uh, I really actually, I actually really like this colorway. The kind of clear colorway they got going on here. So, uh, yeah, I just gotta tie the string here. And then everything will be good. Alright. So, got the string. Just got put on the yo-yo now. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So, this is it. This is the Yo Yo Factory Wedge. I'm really excited to throw this thing. Let me get this chair out of the way. Um, Alright, here. Move the camera a little bit closer. So. I'm now going to try out this yo-yo. I'm really excited, actually. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I 
gotta make sure my string is nice and loose. All right, so. Oh, okay. So I actually really like how this yo-yo feels on the string. Whoa. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of space here, as you can tell. Um, mm. But, uh... Yeah, this yo-yo feels very, like, rim-weighted. That's the, probably the first thing that I noticed. Uh, yeah, this yo-yo is very rim-weighted, so... Ugh. Try not to hit anything here. I really like this for tech. This yo-yo feels like it would be really... I This, this yo-yo definitely feels like Evan Nagal's yo-yo. Um... I'm actually really digging this yo-yo. I really like this, actually. Uh, should I try doing a finger spin? Okay, I'm not. I'm not that good at finger spins, but uh, I'll try one. Just hold on. Just let me uh make sure my string tension is good. All right. Okay, this is probably gonna go bad, and it's probably not the yo-yo's fault. It's probably my fault. Because I'm awful at finger spins, but let's try this. I don't want to hit anything. Alright, let me try to catch it now. Ooh, oh man, I almost got it. Okay, so that wasn't the yo-yo's fault. That was my fault because I'm horrible at finger spins. But I'm sure this yo-yo is good at finger spins. Here, I'll show you guys the cup. That's basically the cup right there. Um, As you can see, it does cave in quite a bit. Trying to get this camera to focus here. It does cave in quite a bit, so I would imagine this is good. I just can't really do anything right now. But, um, yeah, I, I really actually like this yo-yo. This is actually really fun to play with. So, yeah, I'm, I would totally, I would totally say this is one of my favorite plastic yo-yos. Like, the one thing that I really like about this yo-yo that not a lot of my other yo-yos have is um the edges right here are flat and that's kind of the theme with evan's yo-yo is like the the edge it's a little bit more angular like they're not flat but they're pretty close to it like let me show you guys a yo-yo that like the edges are really sharp and okay so this yo-yo right here all right this is the uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this yo-yo. It's by a company called uh, Thesis Yo-Yos. And I do like this yo-yo. I do really like how this yo-yo plays. But the one problem is, um, if you take a look, the edges over here are super sharp. So, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, if you lose, like, control of the yo-yo and it hits your hand, this thing kills. Like, instant, instant death. So, um... Yeah, that, that's the only thing that I don't like about this yo-yo, but on the wedge, however, so let me put this yo-yo back real quick. On the wedge, the edges are more flat, which I do really like. So, um, yeah, guys. Uh, that was basically my first impressions on the yo-yo factory wedge. Uh really like this yo-yo and i would recommend it so i will see you guys in the next video but until then uh stay tuned